Tired of love being all about fleeting passion? Think there's more to it than roses and chocolates? In All About Love, New Visions, renowned author Bell Hooks challenges our shallow understanding of love. She exposes the societal confusion of love with obsession and offers a radical new vision. Love as a practice, a skill we can cultivate for deeper connection, personal growth, and a more just society. Are you ready to learn a new language of love? So let's start without any further ado. The book begins by dismantling the distorted ideas of love that permeate our culture. We often confuse love with possessiveness, jealousy, or an all-consuming infatuation. Hollywood bombards us with the happily ever after fantasy, where love is effortless and equates solely to romantic passion. Hooks argues that this narrow view sets us up for disappointment and heartbreak. True love, she proposes, is a multifaceted practice encompassing care, respect, empathy, trust, commitment, and mutual growth. Love is a choice, not just a feeling. Central to Hooks' vision is the idea that love is a choice, not just a fleeting feeling. We can't control who we're attracted to, but we can choose how we act on those feelings. Love requires consistent effort, nurturing the various aspects that make it up. Think of it like tending a garden. Without regular watering, weeding, and care, the garden withers. Similarly, love needs dedication to flourish. Imagine a couple in a long-term relationship. The initial passion might have faded, but they choose to nurture their bond through acts of care and communication. The husband cooks his wife a thoughtful dinner, and they schedule regular date nights to reconnect emotionally. These are conscious choices that express love in action. The Building Blocks of Love Looks dives deeper, exploring the foundations upon which healthy love is built. She emphasizes the importance of self-love as a prerequisite for loving others. If we don't value ourselves, we can't offer authentic love or recognize it when it's offered to us. Self-love involves developing healthy self-esteem, self-acceptance, and self-care. A woman who constantly seeks validation in relationships is unlikely to experience fulfilling love. By prioritizing self-love, she learns to appreciate her own worth and seeks partners who will respect and support her. The Power of Care and Empathy Next, Hooks delves into the crucial role of care and empathy in fostering love. Care goes beyond grand gestures. It's about the everyday acts of consideration and attentiveness. Empathy allows us to see the world from another's perspective, fostering deeper understanding and connection. A parent shows care by checking in on their child's day, listening actively, and helping them with homework. Similarly, a friend demonstrates empathy by offering a shoulder to cry on during a difficult time and validating their feelings. Love in action, beyond romance. While romantic love gets much of the spotlight, Hooks argues that love extends far beyond the realm of romantic relationships. She emphasizes the importance of love in all our interactions, from friendships and family bonds to work colleagues and even strangers. Love, when practiced consistently, fosters a more compassionate and just society. The importance of healthy friendships. Strong friendships provide a sense of belonging, support, and unconditional acceptance. Friends celebrate each other's successes and offer solace during hard times. These bonds contribute to our overall well-being and offer a different kind of love, equally valuable as romantic love. A group of friends support each other through career transitions, offering encouragement and practical advice. They celebrate birthdays and milestones, creating a sense of community and belonging. Love in the public sphere. Love can and should extend beyond our personal circles. Hooks advocates for a more loving society, where compassion informs our interactions with everyone, not just those close to us. This could mean practicing kindness to strangers, advocating for social justice, or volunteering in our communities. A teacher shows love to their students by fostering a safe and inclusive learning environment. They treat each student with respect, celebrate their individual strengths, and offer support when needed. Healing Love's Wounds 
Overcoming Obstacles. The book acknowledges the challenges many of us face in our pursuit of love. Patriarchal structures, societal inequalities, and past hurts can all create barriers to healthy relationships. Books offers guidance for overcoming these obstacles and creating a foundation for a more loving future. Breaking free from domination. Patriarchal systems often define love in terms of power and control. This can manifest as possessiveness, jealousy, or the need to dominate one's partner. Hooks argues that such dynamics are antithetical to true love. She advocates for a model of love based on mutuality, respect, and partnership. A couple in a relationship where one partner constantly criticizes and belittles the other is not experiencing healthy love. This dynamic is rooted in power imbalances and creates a toxic environment. By challenging these patterns and working towards a more equitable relationship, they can begin to build a foundation for love based on mutual respect. Healing from past hurts, unhealed emotional wounds from past relationships or childhood experiences can hinder our ability to give and receive love. Hooks emphasizes the importance of addressing past hurts through therapy, self-reflection, and forgiveness. Letting go of anger and resentment allows us to open ourselves to new possibilities for love. A woman who has experienced betrayal in a past relationship might struggle to trust potential partners. By acknowledging her hurt and working through it in therapy, she can begin to heal. This process allows her to approach new relationships with a more open heart and the ability to trust again. Love as a political force. The final section of the book explores the transformative power of love on a societal level. Gluck's argues that love is not just a personal pursuit, but a political force that can lead to social change. A society rooted in love promotes justice, equality, and the well-being of all its members. A group of social workers dedicated to helping underprivileged families demonstrates love in action. Their work is driven by a desire to create a more just and equitable society where everyone has access to basic necessities and opportunities. All of these were the core findings of this book. By practicing love in all its forms, from self-love to love for strangers, we can create a more compassionate and just world. The book offers a roadmap for personal growth, healthier relationships, and a society transformed by the power of love. And thanks for watching.